Hey everyone, what I have here is probably the most popular brakes available on the market today. And you're looking at the SLX, you're looking at the Dior M615, and over here in the back is the XT or M785. Uh, let's take a quick look at them, see what uh, the differences are between the three. They all use mineral oil, and as you can see here on the back, of the master cylinder. This one is the Dior M615. Next one over is the M675 which is the uh, SLX and my last one here is the XT same thing mineral oil this is the M785. B as in I spec B and you can see the SLX and the XT having that one this one does not mention B at the end, however, I'm going to show you how uh, the clamp-on design looks like on the inside and uh, for me it looks exactly the same, so any I-Spec B shifters will be able to attach to all three of these, again Dior, XD or SLX. So they look almost almost the same, you can see the Dior over here, SLX uh, right next to it. They have the same finish, which is that uh, silver painted surface. The difference on the XT is that you get the shiny finish. If you look here closely, you will see, so this is what's called the free stroke adjustment. That's only available on the XT. And then this is the reach adjustment, which is again, can be done in the field anytime. Moving on to the SLX, you can see that the master cylinder looks exactly the same. You have the same reach adjustment here, but if you look at the free stroke adjustment, you can see how this is blocked. So it's there, but can be used. All right, moving on to the M615, which is the Dior. You can see how the master cylinder shape is slightly changed here. So you don't even have that free stroke adjustment blocked. You don't have it at all. And the other thing that disappeared all of a sudden is the reach adjustment. This can be adjusted, but if you look in here, you're gonna see you need, uh, I think it's a two and a half millimeter hex key. So I guess the key point here would be that they all look the same lever design, which is uh, made for uh, one finger, and uh, it's superb if you ask me, it works great. Uh, what they strip down, from version to version is pretty much adjustments. As for the way they attach to the handlebar, you can see this hinged clamp design. And in order to remove it, you have this little pinhole here on the side. You push onto that little hole right there, and then the hinge will open. Here it is. All right. What you're looking like at right here, you see that little hole over there? that's where the i-spec b shifters will attach looking at the calipers here you can see the uh, dior next to the xt and um, they are both uh, made of two pieces you can see here and uh, they all have uh, uh, dual pistons in them however uh, the design is slightly different you can see the bleeding port what position is here you can see that you have no adjustment here uh, where the uh, where the brake line comes out of the Dior whereas on the XT and actually the SLX is identical with the XT uh, what you have here you have this little screw so you can change the angle of the line coming out of your caliper I mentioned the um, SLX so again this is uh, another difference you can see here this is a screw that's holding the pads onto place and what you have here it's a pin now if I am to move over to the SLX I mentioned that the SLX uh, caliper is exactly the same as the XT with the of course with the exception of the, what's written on it and you can see this little pad you can see this little pin that holds uh, the pad, the, the brake pads in place. However, 
if you go out and buy this which is pretty much the pin used by the XT brakes the thread is already in there so all you have to do is take that pin out put this in then you have a little safety uh, clip here you pretty much have uh, an XT caliper on this SLX brake as for the pads all three brakes work with either you can see here this is the F01A the resin finned pads you can see the metallic ones F03C metal and this is uh, a regular uh, resin pads as G01S yes G01S so either one of these would work on either one of these three brake calipers what I'm looking at here is the inside of the caliper you can see the pistons the two pistons side by side facing each other you can see the Dior ones are black and the XT ones are white now the white ones are made of ceramics SLX is the same aside from that you can see how this pinhole here is missing the thread visible over here they can use either the finned ice tech pads or the regular ones and to exemplify that you can see here the uh, the ore caliper with uh, the finned metallic pads so no problem whatsoever and um, they would install just fine with uh, ice tech rotors if anyone would be interested in that uh, you can see here these are the XT rotors the ice tech ones look very similar to this for a budget uh, brake I would say the Dior M615 is perfectly fine if you want the bite point adjustment that's only available on the XT and um, that's pretty much it hope you found this useful uh, if you have any comments let me know in the section below and until next time Thanks for watching.